Hey, I'm Gopart, and this is another video in the Emax Goody series. Today, we're going to talk about follow mode. So, follow mode lets you kind of have this virtual window that's split into two. Uh, it follows, well, it'll just be easier if I just showcase you. So, showcase it off. So, let's go into my configuration, readme.org, and I am going to do MetaX follow mode. So, now I have follow mode, as you can see, enabled in the current buffer, but by itself, it's not going to do anything. I need to split open the same, uh, split open another window and have the same buffer in there. Now, if I scroll, both of them are synchronized. So you can think of it as just one long window split into two, and it's side by side. So in case you ever have a file that you want to look, uh, you want more real estate space, for example, it doesn't fit everything, you can just split it here, as you can see, and it will work straight. So that's pretty cool, and it keeps pretty synchronized. For example, if I reach the top on this left buffer and I keep going up over here, and then I scroll, it'll synchronize back so that's pretty nice of course there's also commands for com for controlling the one on the on the right side the one that you're not using and of course you can jump into the other buffer and edit it and now if I scroll on this buffer that's the main the other one will follow suit so that's pretty cool so let me jump into the source file follow mode Let's see, and of course, here's some documentation as to how to use it. Ah, yes, there's this, there's this function follow, delete other windows. So, for example, if I have, uh, let me disable follow mode first. Uh, if I have a bunch of uh, windows, for example, like this, and I just want to focus on one specific buffer, I just have to go to that buffer, the one that I'm interested in, and do follow, delete other windows, and split and it'll automatically do everything for me and that is pretty awesome. So that's a handy little function you can you can use. All right, cool. But as I was saying, let me on let me disable follow mode and then I will go to uh, follow mode where the file's at. Oops. Let's go over here. So yeah, synchronized windows showing the same buffer just like I said and over here the doc string or not the doc stream, but the, co the commentary gives you a lot more info on how to do things on how to customize if you like on how to properly use it gives you ideas and things even tells you about the key bindings that you can use for example these are all the ones that are there I'm not gonna read it you guys can read I'm assuming you guys can read <laughs> so I'll leave that homework up to you other than that all the customizations are pretty much uh, good as default as there is and I don't think there's a lot of customizations. Yeah, so there's only six, and most of them I don't think I don't think I've ever touched them or will ever touch. But yeah, this is a brief overview of follow mode. You can definitely read over this. There's a lot more stuff in follow mode, which I'm surprised at how big it is. Let's see how big. It's around 2,000 lines of uh, pure Emacs list goodiness. So you can definitely find, you will definitely find some stuff in here. Um, I don't know if it'll be useful, but you'll definitely find something interesting. Because <laughs> uh, we're reading the code, I found some stuff. I was like, oh, I didn't know I could do that. So yeah, that is one way to go about it whenever you need to look at one buffer and it all won't fit in one single window but yeah that's pretty much a brief overview of follow mode let me know what you think thanks